your past is a gift. So in this video, I wanted to talk about what you can do, okay, to improve your life right now, this very minute. Okay, so say there's someone you admire because they look athletic, whatever it is, okay? Say that's your thing, okay? You feel less than because you're not as athletic as them. What's stopping you from joining a gym or doing activities, doing more? Make yourself more physical. What's stopping you from doing that? If that's something that you really admire, something you really look up to and you think, it must feel so wonderful to be that. Because to be honest, in most sports, in most activities, people get good at it because they practice it a lot. I know because I'm a piano teacher. So I know on the piano, the only way you're gonna get better is if you practice it and you practice it and you keep on practicing until it sounds exactly the way you want it. And sports are the same. You think people that play tennis and uh, at the top, they got there because they hit the ball twice a week? Maybe three times a week? No, they spend hours every day, not each week, but every day. They dedicate this time to this one thing that they love doing, hours and hours. The best swimmers, they'll go swimming before school, they'll come home from school, go back to the pool, more swimming, <laughs> every day. Every day. They dedicate themselves to what they love. So my question to you is, what's stopping you from dedicating yourself to what you love? If that is something that draws you, you know, you're drawn to it, you just feel like compelled to do that then do it, do it. You're the only one stopping yourself from doing that. Now, the, in the previous video I touched on if, you know, people are, if you're being bullied in a physical way, if there's physical violence happening, okay, and that's never okay for someone else to touch you physically without your permission, okay? Um, so, it's never okay. So in that case, okay, in these countries like Australia, like America, all these countries, go to your parents and learn martial arts, learn some kind of defense, okay? That with time, you can at least, you can at least defend yourself, you know? I'm not saying go all ha ha, you know, and, and beat the crap out of this person. That's not where we're going. But at least at one point, when they raise their hand to hit you, to strike you, to do something, you can at least stop that blow. And from then on, they'll know, oh, I've lost my power. Because you're giving them the power each time. Every time they hit you, they push you down, you're on the ground and you're crying. That's where they get their power from. But you can take your own power back. Okay, because you're the one that keeps giving it to them. Because you keep looking at the problem. And unfortunately, as long as you keep looking at the problem, the problem just gets bigger and bigger, and in your mind, it just, that's the nature of problems. If you just focus on the problem, it's just gonna get bigger, and bigger, and bigger. It's not gonna go away because you're only looking at the problem. You're getting upset and feeling bad about the problem that you have right now, okay? But you're not looking at how to solve that problem. You're not looking for a solution. You're not looking at how to stop that stop that feeling bad and starting to feel good you need to start looking for ways because only you know what you like or what you need do you need those special defense classes so that you can stand up for yourself one day and stop that hand from coming towards you or that leg or whatever it is if they kick you if they you know punch you whatever it is that you can one day stop not hit them back but at least just stop just grab them and say no you know what that's enough enough it's not okay for you to do that to someone else I don't care if that's what's happening in your home and you have to live with that every day that's not my fault okay if that's what they have to live with every day in their home that's not your fault that they have to live with that and maybe in that moment that you stop that blow and you teach them that it's not okay 
you may become the best of friends because you may have finally taught that person that he, in them, they're right to feel that it's not okay. But this is what the grown-ups, that's all they've ever known. They don't know how to change it, but maybe you can help that person to change and see that it's not okay to do that. It's not the solution. So my, my suggestion, you know, in the next few days, in the next few weeks, is to look at the problem, okay? Firstly, what am I thinking about myself? Okay, well, what are you thinking about yourself? What is it that you're not as good as, that you're less than? Because that's where it all comes from. Your thoughts about who you are, that you're not that, and you're not that, and you're not what, everything that you're not. So I want you to, you know, if you can get a, piece, a book, a piece of paper, a journal, something, start writing it down. All the things that you believe about yourself, write them down. And then really start to look at them. Look at them. Are they really super duper important things? You know, if you're not smart enough, get a tutor, get someone to help. You know, if that's something that's really got you down, that you can't keep up with the rest of the class, ask your parents for help. You know, there's so many things in life that we learn that we need a teacher for, a one-on-one -on -one teacher. You're not going to be able to do it on your own. And unfortunately at school, the teachers can only teach things in one way because they've got a whole classroom to deal with. They can't just sit there and go, did everybody get it? Oh no, you five didn't get it. Okay, let me explain it in a different way. Do they ever do that? I've never seen it done. I know at school we were taught one way, wrote it all down, took it home, studied it, did the tests. But we didn't have a teacher say, okay, is everybody here? Are, they, are you clear? Did you all get it? No? Okay, you guys didn't. Let me explain it in a different way just for you. Okay, do you get it now? No? How many? Two? Okay, you two come over here. I'll explain it to you in a different way. Teachers don't do that. They don't have the time to do that. So if you're struggling with understanding how they do things at school, get a private tutor that can address why you're not understanding it and help you to understand it. Help you to get it. And that way you'll realise that it's got nothing to do with you being smart or not. It's just you didn't understand the way they were explaining it. It's as simple as that. Alright my darling, so find the solution to whatever your issue is. Find the solution, start looking for the answer so you can stop feeling bad about who you are and you can start interacting with your day and get the most out of your life. I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.